Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have square root of x, square root of x, square root of 2, equal to 16. So we are trying to look for the value of x that we'll put in here to give us 16, right? Okay, now, do you know that this is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2? Multiply by x to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. Because this x here is under 1 square root sign, and that is power of 1 over 2. The second x is under 2 square root sign, under 2 square root signs. And then this 2 here is um, under 3 square root signs. That will be 1 over 3, sorry, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. This will be equal to 16, right? Okay, so from here we have x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 8. Remember, I have to multiply the powers. And this will be equal to, this 16 is 2 to the power of 4. So that we will have um, everything. These two will not be in the same base, right? Now, let me group this so that I can, I can deal with the first. <clears throat> so that I can deal with the first two terms here. Now, pick one of the terms. We have one of the bases. Then I will add the powers, right? 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Then I still have 2 to the power of 1 over 8. And then everything is equal to 2 to the power of 4. What I did here is to pick one of the one of the bases and add the powers. Because we are multiplying. Now, we have x over here. Now, let's find the LCM of this power here. The LCM is 4. Then 4 divided by 2 is um, 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1. Then I still have 2 to the power of 1 over 8. Then everything equal to 2 to the power of 4. So this will now give us 2 to the power of 3 over 4. It is actually x to the power of 3 over 4. Then we have 2 to the power of 1 over 8. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now what will I do from here? I have to divide both sides by 2 to the power of 1 over 8. Then I will divide this by 2 to the power of 1 over 8 too, right? Okay, so that this will cancel this. And now x to the power of 3 over 4 is equal to, here we are having the same base 2 and 2, so we can subtract the powers. So pick one of the bases, then we have 4 minus 1 over 8, because we are to divide, right? Okay, here, x to the power of 3 over 4 will be equal to 2 to the power of, the LCM is going to be 8. Remember, this could be over 1, so it's going to be, 8 divided by 1 is 8 times 4, that is 32. Then minus 8 divided by 8 is 1, times 1 is 1. So if we continue from here, then x to the power of 3 over 4, this is 3, will be equal to um, 2 to the power of um, 31, okay, over 8, right? But then remember that we are looking for x, not x to the power of 3 over 4. So to remove this from here, we are going to have x to the power of 3 over 4. Okay, we have 3 over 4 there. x to the power of 3 over 4. So we'll multiply this by its reciprocal, which will be 4 over 3. Then equal to 2 to the power of 31 over 8. Then multiply by the reciprocal, which is 4 over 3, 4 over 3, right? So that from here, this will cancel this, this will cancel, and then x will be equal to, 
Okay, so here now we're going to have 4 here, 1, 4 here, 2. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 31 over 2 times 3, which will be 6. So this is the value of x that satisfies the given equation. But then you might be asking, will this truly satisfy the equation? Let's put it and check. Okay, so this is the original equation and this is the value of x we are having. So let me deal with this now. Remember what I said before that this is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2. Then multiply by x to the power of 1 over 4 because of the two square root signs. Then multiply by 2 to the power of 1 over 8 because of the, the three square root signs. Now let's put in the value of x. So here now will be 2 to the power of um, 31 over 6. Then the whole of this will be raised to the power of 1 over 2, right? Then multiply by 2 to the power of 31 over 6. And then the whole of this will be raised to the power of 1 over 4. Then multiply by 2 to the power of 1 over 8. So this is what we have. Will this give us um, 16 at the end of the day? Okay, let's continue. This will now be 2 to the power of um, 31 over 12 because 6 times 2 is 12. Then multiply by here, we are going to have 2 to the power of 31 over 24 because 6 times 4 is 24. Multiply by 2 to the power of 1 over 8. Remember our law of indices, you can always pick one of the bases. So I pick two, then I will add the powers 31 over 12 plus 31 over 24 plus 1 over 8, right? Now permit me to pick the exponent and deal with it first. Remember this, um, no, this is the base while this is the exponent, right? So, I want to add the exponents together so that I will have 24 as the LCM. 24 divided by 12 is 2 times 31. That will give 62. Then plus 24 divided by 24 is 1 times 31. 31 plus 24 divided by 8 is 4 times 1. Okay, 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 1. We have 3. And then, if we add all of these together, we have 96. And this is over 24, right? Okay, and then, what do we get if we divide 96 by 24? We are going to have 4. Okay, remember, all of this, you know, is the power to this um, base, right? So, this means that we're having 2 to the power of 4. Because the whole of this is giving us 4. And 2 to the power of 4 is um, 16. And it is 16 we had on the right-hand side of the equation. So this is to say that our value for x, which is 2 to the power of 31 over 6, is very correct. Thank you for watching.